YouTubians, Gary, VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another video on the little DIY lightweight Overland trailer built. Where, oh my goodness, the lighting is horrible, I'm sorry. So this was a Pullman Versa trailer. We then took a little fiberglass top off of, extended the sides with some three quarter inch square tubing, skinned it with aluminum, made the little crossbar rack for it, put the rooftop tent on it, then added electrical, solar, lithium battery, the whole nine yards. Last video, we went ahead and took this little bad boy camping for its first little trip, added a little diesel heater on it. This thing did really nice, except for, you know, we had a little issue with the tent being uncomfortable. Problem solved, we just added a mattress topper. Nice little two inch thick foam, memory foam type of mattress topper. Super comfy now. So now on this episode, we're going to do something a little different. I went down to my local Napa Auto Parts. They have this really nice awning. These awnings people put all over the place. There's lots of different brands being made, but this one here is a maxi track. This is an eight foot by eight foot awning. So no more having to set up a tent canopy, if you will. Simple, unroll it, set it up, you're done. But I need to be able to make it so it's tall enough for me. And I don't want it this high constantly going down the road. You know, we're trying to keep everything low. So what I think I'm gonna do is I found some inch and a half square tubing that is eighth wall. Then I found some one inch square tubing that is eighth wall. This slides into this. Then we'll weld on some two inch angle across both of them. And we'll actually be able to sit there and pull a pin and adjust the height. So we can get it all the way up to the height I want, maybe like a medium height, and then stow it all the way down about right in here for when you're traveling. Nice thing is with this eight foot awning, it sticks out a little bit past the end, a little bit past that end. So it actually gives us a little bit more coverage. So as you see, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to mount this. I wanted this up against this and also tacked onto this, but then I cannot open my side access door. So what I'm thinking I might do is add, I've got these tabs for light bars or lights or whatever you want to use them. I've got this just there as a spacer because that's how far I need to be away. I could take this, notch that little bit right there and insert it in there as a gusset. So I could be able to weld here to this angle, weld this to that and it ties everything in real nice. Then it's just a matter again, like I said, drilling a hole here on both of them. They're not gonna go all the way down. This is gonna be cut right about the bottom of this. And then the square, other square tubing will slide through it. So enough jibber jabber. I think it's time to go ahead and get crack lacking and uh, let's see if this comes to fruition and I can make this happen and look decent and function. <laughs>
Well, I got us most of the way there. Uh, she's still a little tight in a couple places. Kind of figured out why I was fighting it some. Forgot to chamfer the ends in here. So, yeah. But for the most part, she works pretty good. Slides up and down decent. Got a little bit of tweaking to do. But it's all fully welded in. We just need to swap out that awning because, well, I think somebody returned that one. And it's all bent to crap and back. So I already called Napa. They got another one on order. Be here tomorrow. So we'll bring it back then. And we're back. Went down to Napa. Got it swapped out. I tell you, if you do not shop at Napa, you need to. <laughs> not sponsored. I paid full price for the awning. But they're a great brand. They're a great company to work with, to deal with. I, I, I honestly, I, I love them. So now we have a new awning that's not bent to crap. And here are the brackets that come with it. There's one slight little issue I did not foresee. Apparently I read things wrong. Go figure. Adapt and overcome. So let's adapt, shall we? This part right here is what mounts to the back side of your awning. Your bolts slide in there. Bippity boppity boo. It mounts on like that. No problem, right? You see a problem? We'll only be able to get the top bolt in and not the bottom bolt in. Was not planning on using the brackets, to be honest. The reason I want that went down and had them swap it out again is because the other one was bent. I paid full price. I don't want a bent one. I want a new one. Couldn't really care less about the brackets, but that helped me realize that in order to get this to line up properly, yeah, that's, that's one hole. I mean, I could do like one hole, one hole, one hole, but I'm not liking that idea. So what I think I'll do is whack the bracket right here, weld to the top, and then you'll be able to have one bolt hole go fully through this, and then the bottom bolt hole still be supported. So I think that's the route we're gonna go. And then if I decide to willy-nilly, I could always drill a hole right here dead center and put one upper bolt there, but I mean, not needed. Come on, Gary, we don't need to do that. Just stop overcomplicating it. Okay, let's get to work. pretty simple and painless and I forget to hit record when I drilled the two holes but guess what I used my drill press and I drilled two holes shocker so this is pretty simple you've got uh, just like the rooftop tent you've got a track for the bolts to go in so I got one upper lower on this side one upper lower that side got the rack put in place and then I just realized why did I just put it in place I have to paint it before I can install that so I'm gonna paint it and then I will bring you guys back when the paint's dry and we're ready to assemble this and unroll it. That was very easy and painless. So we just went ahead and threw in the bolts right there. I went ahead and put a washer on the back side as well. And it's definitely on there, it's not moving. Ran it down with the impact just to kind of get the their nylock nuts. So it makes it a little faster. Just then use the wrench to make sure it wasn't over tight. So we are good to go. We are mounted. I did mount it a little bit more forward than backwards. Uh, which I may end up 
changing might bring that further this way. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I want to open it up and show you, but it's a little dark. Well, as you can see, not bad, especially for one person. I mean, definitely a little easier with two. One person can hold it, whatnot, but what I did is I took these legs and tilted them way in, as you saw, and that way it allowed me to go up front and get these. So these ones right here stow up into this front cabinet here. And of course your legs here stow up in this part here. And you've got little straps. It does come with some guy ropes. What I did is I have these S hooks. So I put the S hook on there that way. If I don't want to run the guy, uh, guy ropes, I can keep them off somewhere, preferably inside tucked in there or something, but easy enough to raise it up and down. I also realized I didn't need to make so many holes because if I drop this all the way down, I won't be able to get to my rooftop tent and be able to unstrap it. But hey, I can, uh, that's a little saggy in the middle, but I can stand in here just fine and barely touch, so not bad. I'll take it. All in all, I'm really enjoying this build. I hope you are too. You know, I'm trying to make things easy, efficient, lightweight, so the bug can pull it, of course, you know, and, and make camping more enjoyable. There's nothing worse than going out and trying to spend time with your friends on the weekend or during the week or whenever you go and have a miserable time. So I hope that you found something in this series that helped inspire you to get out and make your life a little bit more comfortable as well. And again, that awning, not sponsored. I went to Napa and swiped my credit card, trust me. But they're definitely well worth the money. And their customer service, on point. As always, Napa, good people. Definitely good people. So I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for sticking around. If there's something specific that you want to see, let me know. Till the next time, guys, be kind and be good.